Hello, and welcome to another episode of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and today we're going to be installing part number LGT-143 on this 2012 Club Car DS. Before we get started, let's take a look at what comes with the kit and the tools you're going to need for the installation. When you open up your kit, you're going to find your turn signal itself, your jumper harness if you're going to hardwire your turn signal into your cart, your turn signal relay, and your steering column collars. Now that we've taken a look at all the parts, let's look at the tools we're going to need for the installation. The tools we're going to need for this installation are a Phillips head screwdriver, some sort of panel remover tool, 15 millimeter socket, and a ratchet wrench. Now we've taken a look at all the tools, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started with our installation, we want to make sure that we turn our key switch to the off position, we set our parking brake, and we switch our tow run switch to tow if we have one. Now before we get started with anything on this cart, we're going to go ahead and disconnect both the positive and the negative terminal on our battery. Now we're going to remove the center dash by removing the two screws, one on each side. Now that our center console is removed, our next step is to attach the turn signal to the steering column using one of the three provided steering column collars. When you position your turn signal, you want to make sure that it's going to be comfortable for where the driver will be using it. Once you've got your turn signal loosely attached to your steering column, the next step is to route the harness down through the hole in the dash. And then once we've done that, we can attach our turn signal blinker. Once the turn signal is attached, then we just plug into our 9-pin connector for our main harness. After your 9-pin connector is connected, we're going to go ahead and secure all of the wires behind the dash and reinstall our dash. Now that we've reinstalled our dash panel, our next step is to install our universal steering column cover, part LGT-107A. Now, like I said, this is a universal product, so you might have to cut a little bit off the end to make it fit onto your steering column. But for us, we don't have to because it fits right on our Club Car DS here. So we're just gonna snap this into place. When you're mounting the steering column cover on your cart, you wanna make sure that the wiring harness runs down through the channel that is in the steering column cover. Our last step is to tighten down the two screws that hold our turn signal to our steering column. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and connect our harness to our battery. Now that you've tightened down your turn signal to your steering column, that'll complete the installation. 